Hey guys, John from Walkthrough Code. So in this video, we are going to show you how to get your Redux, um, or your, I should say, your React components connected to the Redux store. So in the last video, we showed you how to configure the store, um, create a new instance of store, get all the reducers combined and, and uh, created and injected, I should say, into the actual app through the provider uh, wrapper or higher order component, call it whatever you like. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do now oops, is we're gonna go into app.js. Um, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of the logo. We don't need this logo. Actually, we don't need any of this. Um, I am also I'm going to get rid of app.css because it just has a bunch of fluff in there. And even though we're not importing it, I'm still just because. There we go. OK. Um, and now we just need to save this. And this should give us a blank screen. And then maybe for argument's sake, hello world, just to make sure. Cool. So that's totally working. Awesome, awesome. OK. Um, uh, it has a font on it, though. I'm curious. That might be... Ah, yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, OK, moving, moving along. So all we really need to have in this, um, in this app is a, uh, a an input, a button, and and a list of stuff. Um, so so let's let's just create that very simply in in this um, in this particular component itself. So let's create um, an input, um, and this input will be type of text. Um, we're going to say value, so we're going to make this stateful. So we'll say state equals, and then new to do is going to be just a string. I'm assuming you knew, you know all of this um, because you've gone through my intro to React by now. Um, so I'm going to connect this to um, this.state.new to do. And then I'm gonna have an on uh, on change. Let's just do that. Um, and we'll say on change. Let's say equals um, an arrow function that's gonna say this dot set state, uh, and this set state will have just an object that says new to do. Uh, colon e dot target dot value, and then I'm gonna put the event. I'll just say event, just to make it a little bit more clear. Event. Um, so every time this changes, it sets the state based on the current uh, value of the input. Um, so, okay. So now that that there's that. Actually, let's just create. A form. We'll move this input in here. Oops. And we need a button. Say button submit. We'll say button of type submit. That way it'll fire the form. Um, um, and then in the form, we need an on submit equals this dot handle submit, which we're going to create here in a second. Um, so we're going to say handle submit equals an arrow function. If you haven't seen my intro to React videos, but you know a couple things about React, this basically eliminates the need for, for a constructor. Um, 
in in from a binding perspective because this will bind whatever we pass in here to the component so it, it just makes life a ton easier um, this will take one parameter um, which is the event because uh, we're going to have to say event dot prevent default because that's the default uh, the we need to prevent the default action of a form getting submitted um, and then let's console just just so we don't do too much before we lose sight of what's going on. Let's um, let's console dot log state dot new to do, and then we'll say this dot state dot new to do. Okay. Um, is very small. Let's pull up the console. So if we so theoretically speaking when we when we put some uh, put some text and stuff in here it's going to update the state uh, and we when we click this button it's going to fire the on submit uh, event which will fire the handle submit uh, class property, which is this, and this should console.log. So if we're, if, if I'm doing what we think we're doing, then, uh, then we should be good. So let's say some new to do, we hit submit. Cool. So state.todo is some new to do, which means now we have access to the updated version of this.state.new to do. Okay. Um, Let's do. Let's put together a simple list of stuff. Um, let's say, um, let's just do like an H2 or something. And we'll say a list of to do's. Okay, and then we're gonna say unordered list. And then what we'll do here. Okay, so let's actually come back to that. Um, I'm actually I'm actually gonna end the video here because in the next video that's when we'll start making the calls to the um, to the store and stuff to get a hold of stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, leave them in the comments section below. Um, please like and subscribe. That way you can up be updated with new, new content that I post. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day.